Uh. Yeah. Good everyone. My name is Graphics. Today we want to draw the block in isometric projection as shown. Now the first thing you do, like I said earlier, you're going to draw your isometric axis. I mean the X, Y, and Z axis. So this is the um this is the y right and uh, this is the z axis here right is the x axis then the other side here is the z axis so this is the z axis right now We've got in the X, Y, and Z. Now the next question here is to get the entire length, the entire width, or the entire height. Knowing fully well that this can always alternate. Sometimes here will be the length, here will be the width, or sometimes here will be the width, and here will be what the length. It depends, but the Y remains constant. Now. What you do is let's look for the entire length. If you look at the entire length, let's see from here to here is 20 plus 30, that is what 50 plus 30, that is what 80 plus 10, that is what 90. So this is you will not count it because this is like going in this direction, but all these are parallel to each other, or you simply say that. This 20 plus what? 70. That'll give us what? 90. So that means our total x axis is what? Is 90. So I'm going to take my rule and start my measurement from here. So this will be um, 90 here. From 0 to 9 is what? Is 90. Now let's see, so that means this is my length, and then the width. The width now will now be from this point, from this point, which is this point, to this point here, that is 30. Now you will stop there. From here to here is 30, from here to here is what? It's 10, so 10 plus 30 is 40, right? So don't make that mistake. This is 10, this is 30, this is the other one going the same direction like this. That is 10. 10 plus 30, that is what? 40. So my width is what? It's 40. So I'll measure 40 from this point here. From 0 to 4 is 40. Can see that? Now let's see the height. Now the height will now be from here to here is 30, right? like this like this and like this like this this is y y right 30 plus 10 that is 40 so the entire height is 40 so i'm going to measure 40. so use this measure the 40 from 0 to 4 is 40. so doing that i will now take my c square stand it on my t square and project those points vertically in this direction you can see that come here also project it in this direction this way you can see that now what i use in drawing this in the direction i'll project it up also I'll take it up, moving it on my T-square, and I'll do the same thing here also. Similarly, I'll do the same thing in this direction too, like placing it in this way. So if I do that, this is what I'll be having. I'll be having it this way. So what I use to draw this, I'll project it up to get this. You can see that? And I'll move the same thing here to get this. You can see that? Now I'm turning it this way. 
what I use to draw this or move it to this point. The aim is just to make them form a box. Now I have formed out the box that I have here. Now the next thing for me is to start carving out those images. Which images? These images. So I can be zooming it out. Right? Now, if you look at from here to here, which is 30 is thickened. And from here to here is somewhere from here to somewhere around there at a distance of what 30. I'm going to measure 30. So if I place it this way from 1 to 3 is 30. Right? So if I do that, I can easily thicken it at this point here. Since I'm very sure, that is why I'm thickening it. That is the 30. Is that okay? Now also from here to here is 10. So from here to here is from here to here 10. So I'm going to measure 10. So from 0 to 1 is 10. Right? So this is 10 here. I'll thicken it because in the diagram it is thickened. Now similarly, this goes up with a distance of what 10. So this point here is this point here, and I'm going to take it up, placing it on my T square. Just project it up a little bit, right? Like this. Then I'll measure my 10 on that point. So when I place it here, I'll be having 10. So from here to here, 0 to 1 is 10. So I'll just elongate it to that point. This is thickened. Now the next thing is it goes in this direction towards the X, right? At the distance of what 30. So I'm going to place my um I'm going to place my C square at that point. I'll just extend it. And I'm going to measure a distance of what? Of 30. So from 0 to 3 is 30. And I am going to thicken it. You can see that? Now the next thing is this is going in, right? So this is going up again from here while taking it up. So I'll do the same thing. I'll take it up at that point. Just a little bit in the direction. So I'm going to measure it height of what from here to here is from here to here. That is what 20. So I'm going to measure 20 at that distance at that point. So from the from 0 to 2. Is given as what 20 this point so I'll just stick in it there's 20 there right now what you notice from this point to this point is this point to this point and I'm going to join them effectively in this manner so I'll just join them from here straight down to this point right now what else again? This point is going towards the Z axis this way. So I'm going to take my meter rule, right? And I'll place it here. Let's do that and see. So I'll place it here. And I'll take it in this direction, this to this direction, this to this direction, and this to this direction. So let's go back to our diagram. So from here to here is from here to here under the distance of 10 and I'm going to measure the 10 at this point from 0 to 1 is 10 so I'll just, this is from here to here is 10 and I'll just stick in it right so also from here to here also from here to here under is 10 so I'll just take my C square place it on my T square and take this upward to meet this where I can now thicken this this way you can see that now what do you notice um from here to here also 
is from here to here and that's giving us what as 10 so i'm going to measure my 10 we know here to is 10 so what i'll just do is i will just uh, measure the 10 at this point right so measure from here to here this point this way and i'll just measure that you can see that and what do you notice this is going up because here is going up to a distance of 10 so i'll just move it up to touch the top so we know that from here to here is 10 it's already gotten the entire height right now from this point to this point i'll measure 15 which is from here to somewhere around here so i'm going to take my meter rule and i'll measure 15 from this one to one point from 0 to 1.5 here is 15 right so i'm going to taking it this way so taking it is what i'll be having here right now the next thing is this is brought out towards the the x axis this way so I'll take my c square and i'm going to measure it this way like this and i'll come here also i'll do this this way so at that line i'm going to measure 30 because from here to here is here to here and here to here and also here to here they are all 30 so because i have my c square and my t square i am using my instrument effectively so i'm going to just measure 30 at only one point i'm going to thicken it like this right then with the help of my c square i'll bring this down this way because it's also here is brought down so i'm going to bring it down like this you can see that and um, also i will now thicken this point here from here to this point right and since it is 30 i can actually come here this way right and I'll just close here up like this because here is closed up so that I can easily tick in this this way I can easily tick in here this way you can see that and also bring this down a little bit here the reason is so that it can form a closed part so I can move this to this point then I'll close here up this way so this is what we have then I'll close here up too this way why am I closing it up because from here to here is here to here right now if you look at this closely this line is coming out here but I will not pass it through here because this is a block that is covering this line that's supposed to be a hidden line so what i'll just do is i'll just elongate here a little bit coming out then i'll bring here out this way so this is where i'm stopping or i'll just take my meter root since from here to here is 40 because this 10 plus this 30 is 40 i'll just measure 40 from the end here so wherever the line stops you see that is my 40 the points already there now what will i do i'll just extend that point i'm going to extend the point from that point there a little bit with my front line first this way right so let me take in here because from here to here is thickened so i'll take in this point here so you might be wondering that why didn't i not extend it fire this block on top is already blocking so if i will do anything to be a front line so let me just let that be now we are told that from this end here to this end here is 70 meaning that from here to somewhere around here is 70 so i'm going to take my rule and measure 70 from here so from 7 to 0 is given as well 70 and i'm going to thicken it this way right i'll take it this way you can see that and um, in doing that I will now move this, extend it a little bit forward because from here to here is also extended forward a little bit. So let's bring it out this way from here, coming out where the point 70 
can meet with it. This is the point seventy here. This here, right? I'm going to close it up. You can see that, and I can easily take in here too. This way, right? And here, this part from here to here is from here to here, and here is here, which is extended. So I'm going to extend it a little bit here this way. You can see that. So in extending it in this way, so I will measure it, right? So what I will simply do here is this. Um, this is touching the end of this line. The end from here to here is 50, 30 plus 20. So for me, somewhere around here is 50. So I'm going to measure the point 50 from that point. So from 5 to 0 is 50. So this is how it is. Right? From here to here is 50, which is from here to here, right? So I'll just stick in it to stop there. Right? And I'll just join here to here because from here to here is joint. So I'll join from here to here. You can see that? Uh, after doing that, um, I will also try to move this to this point. I'll move this to this point. You can see that? So where I can easily move this, this way. Like this faint line first. So once I do that, I can now join from here to the last point, right? So I'll just come here and I'll just join this to this. If I don't want to do that, right, I will just um, measure 30 from this point. So from 0 to 3, giving us 30, you can see that. This is the point I am going to join with this. So in doing that, I'll be having this. So this is what we have here. It is not the end. You see this point here is going in. So this point here will be going in. Right? So this point here will be going in. So I'm going to take it in this way. You can see how I went about it. So we have successfully replicated this diagram that you are seeing here. So, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.